Welcome back, I'm Jay. We've got Steve right here today. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. Today we're going over your pictures. If you like football, if you like football helmets, this is the show for you. So please like, subscribe, click that notification bell. Steve, you got anything to tell the good folks? Other than welcome to episode 67, we want to see your helmets. And if you want to be on this show, got to email the best pictures that you can to pics at greengridiron.com. And if you're lucky enough, you'll make this show. But we love you. We love your content. And we want to see what you can do with your camera. Yeah. First up is Isaac. This is my new Georgia Southern build concept. Would love to see them bring out a helmet like this in the near future. So would I. All right. So we've actually done some work with Georgia Southern before. Great folks down there, down here from, from us in South Carolina. See, here's what we like about True. this. Love, love, love the clean, all white hardware with some blue decals. Looks fantastic. This is a used helmet. You can tell on the back there, the Zenith uh, back bumper is a little, a little brown. Yeah, it's got a some, bit. It's, you know, so this is probably, I'm going to guess, is a helmet that's been turned into this. It's either, so it either came from George Southern or it's somebody's field use helmet that they have converted. They got some decals maybe from the team mm -hmm. and uh, put together. And I think it looks great. And, you know, this is the Zenith Prime face mask with the Under Armour clips look great on there. It's got an Oakley visor, which I think is blue. I can't tell. Yeah. So it's pretty yeah. dark. Um, and then we got a Sports Star T Rex Hurricane chin strap. It's just good stuff, dude. Really nice. I like how he cut the chin strap. Yeah. And I'm looking straps. at the, the chin strap buckles. I can't, those don't look like Sports Star. They might be. Oh, no, they are. Yeah, they are. Those are probably yeah. the Navy ones. So we offer those in, I don't know, five or six different colors. That's right. It's not the exact same color blue as what's in decals, but that's not really an option. It's a nice look, touch. Yeah, those look navy and those look nice. So I'm gonna give this guy, Steve, a 7.6. All right, we had a lot of 7.2s last week. Let's see what happens this week. I was trying to go hard last week. I, I hear you, I, I hear you. Really did that well, this one will be better than that when it comes to scoring. This is Anthony V. Look. All right, Anthony. Look at this thing. Wow. Okay, so. Anthony is going, I, I think that you're going to have some things to say about the photos. I do. Because I don't think that this, the backgrounds in these photos, I don't think anything was an accident here. The helmet, however, though, um, everything chromed out here. So he, Anthony went and he chromed out the uh, face mask clips. He chromed out the visor clips. He chromed out the cam lock. He chromed out the strap lock. Uh, he crumbed out the chin strap, unless he knows somebody at Riddell who's really hooking him up. But overall, this looks great. Steve, we got 3D bumpers on here. Everything's chrome. The, the decals on this are perfectly cut, um, perfectly placed. Gosh, it's hard yeah. to find anything wrong with this guy. Anthony killed it with the pictures, too. I mean, this thing is perfectly yeah. composed. The angles are right. He put it on that metal, the one with the X in the background. He has it like sitting on this little platform. It is so, very, so very, good. Very, we, we, and I love the contrast of the, the high-end look of the chrome on yep. his helmet with the industrial beat up. This could be like an old, I don't know, warehouse or exactly. industrial plant from 100 years ago. Goodness, this is great. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go with, obviously, i got to go with a pretty high score on this one, Steve. I'm going to go with a 9.8. Yeah. I mean, how could you not, right? Yeah, it's, it's nice job, Anthony. And very, really nice. Great pictures to show off that beautiful helmet. Next up is Danny. He's taking his out in the snow. Oh, Danny. Boy. <laughs> so, you know, this is a field use kind of plain, but I like the pictures and I like what he did to get this thing to look the best that he could. Yep. Uh, you know, as far as the helmet goes, uh, snow aside, and I liked it that there's snow on top of the helmet too. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty plain Jane outside, out of the box. We've got a standard hard cup chin strap. We've got a S2 EG2 SP face mask. And I don't, I'm not sure the exact color on this. This looks like a painted, um, I don't know if I call this maroon. Maybe it's maroon. Yeah. Paint maroon, sure. It's uh, actually a nice paint job. Or a garnet. Um, and then we got a clear visor in there. It looks like this is a helmet that was used in probably high school, I'm guessing. Yeah. Possib possibly youth, but um, it's it's an adult helmet. We can tell because it's got the white pads on the inside. Adult uh, Riddell helmets have white pads. Youth uh, Riddell helmets have gray pads. Uh, so overall, this is pretty stock, Steve. 
I'm going to go not talking about the snow or the photos or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just with the helmet, I'm going to go with a 6.5. That makes sense. I like yep. it. Yep. And uh, he had the visor that's hanging out there, no clip. So maybe get that tightened clip. down. <laughs> Face mask, clip, delete. That's not something we see too often, but we do see it. That's true. We All right. Next up is Eli, and the name does not suggest that you're going to see a Cowboys custom helmet, but look at this thing. He says, hey, guys, I just finished this super unique okay. Cowboys we'll, half. We'll be the judge of that. It's a half current and half throwback. Um, okay. I like that idea. He, he just had to send it to us. Yeah. This looks cool. So you got the oversized solid navy star, uh, the sports star um, speed flex adapter on that lower buckle there we've got obviously got the sports star clips i like on the back of the helmet where you've got the player's name and number on that what is that little thing called that they use oh, uh, to, to, make, a, to make the names the stylus it's like a punch or, yeah punch, punch it's like tape. it embosses it yeah. yeah we've got one around here somewhere uh, but that looks great uh the decal he, here's the thing that, that i don't know if the cowboys use one big solid decal like this where it starts off clear and then they print white and navy on it mm -hmm. or if they use a white stripe and then two navy stripes i don't know Do i'm know? not sure either i know that helmets that we get from riddell it's one big fat stripe right just like this and this is i personally don't i don't get it i don't like white printed on clear because this is what you see you can see this in the photo here where you can see through yeah so depending on what color you're on it changes the color of the white um it is what it is i'll give the guy credit oh he, yeah he, and, he laid it down straight and look at how he split the visor too uh oh, the star nice. 50 50 star too not easy to do none of this is easy to do so even if you just did this yourself in your garage or something man you did a really nice job and, 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 and let's not forget to talk about we've got a shock zero g visor we've got uh the gray unbranded clips mm -hmm. and we've got a cu s2 eg sw face mask which actually to think here i don't think that mask exists so this has to be a custom made face mask interesting as well. i like it i like the single wire with the eg yeah. cool yeah it's, it's great nice. what are you giving eli <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna give eli um uh, let's go with a 9.4 oh yeah nice yeah, yeah. good yeah. work eli next nice up job. is javier this thing is pretty crazy he says hey steve no jay Sorry, you're out. Okay. Uh, okay, so ripped is something we. So there's a couple of guys that we've seen doing this. We've, you know, it, and it seems like there was the original guy who was doing it, and then there's a couple of copycats popped up. I don't know which one this is. I don't know if um, Justin made this or not. It looks really cool. So this is half Oregon, half Chargers. That's what I'm thinking. Because I see an O front bumper. Yeah, do we have a picture of either the front no, or the I back? No, I only have two pictures. I think he tried to send in more, but they came in like a uh, corrupted. They, they didn't come over. Okay, okay. So, so yeah, this looks like the... I'm trying, I don't remember the name of this Oregon helmet because Oregon likes to, you know, yeah, name they, all of their helmets. sure do. Uh, but you can see the wings in there, and it was a green... It was like a green gloss on top of a green... Um, like an apple green yeah kind of. so it was really nice contrast i think um, we got the shock zero g uh, visor in here we've got some 3d bumpers on there um, obviously you got the chargers with the 10. i love the way the chargers put their numbers uh kind of underneath the bolt there and then we've got a, a back bumper as well so i can't see the front or the back but i'm thinking the front bumper is an oregon o with the back bumper probably says los angeles I, for yep. the chargers i'm yep. guessing uh then we've got the unbranded chin step uh, which is a hard cup um so that's an upgrade and you know even painted the um valve caps the valve caps uh which is really nice as well i think these are cool oh and we got a signature on there oh there is yeah so it says the thing justin i think it's justin a bear is that how you pronounce it steve i i'm gonna defer to you on that spelled one. herbert yeah pronounced a bear okay i think it's a bear i left that out because i didn't know how to say it well it's 
I'm wrong, so just cut that part. <laughs> I think it was smart shooting it on white because there's so much going on. You don't want to take away from it. Mm -hmm. Perfect example, sometimes just shoot it on white. But I'm going to go, Steve, with a another one over the nines. I'm going to go with a 9.3. Yeah, we got some excellent ones in this one, really. Yeah. All right, next up is Christian. This is one crazy looking well, package. Well, what can we say? So this is uh, what we call the Big Grill 2.0. Um, which is the STG. So this is going to be on a Vengeance. So this would be the VROPO STG face mask. Uh, I I love it. I love the Big Grill face mask. This is obviously one of them. Uh, it's got what they call the brows up on the top bar there, which kind of works really well with the visor on this guy. Um, and this is somebody who basically just took a yellow helmet yep. and turned it into a Packers helmet. I mean, he did the warning label on the back. He's got the NFL decal, the flag. Mm -hmm. He took the clip off the front to put the bumpers, de the Packer decal on there. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking that. If you take that off and just put regular clips, mm -hmm. that would be even cooler. But I prefer that, to be honest yeah. with you. But he's got black clips all the way around, not something that the Packers or any NFL team wears. But I like it. He, I lit, would. he lit the photo from the front properly to see it's green. This is how you make the show. I like it mm -hmm. a lot. He's obviously a, a, a wine drinker. Clearly, there's some boxes in the background there. Good for yep. him. Yep. Merry uh, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is great. Um, and Steve, I'm going to go with this guy. How about we do an 8.6? I think that's good. Because we've had some really, really hard to yeah. beat ones today. Yeah. Yep. But really nice job. Next up, I hope I'm saying this right. Gennaro? Sure. Yeah. Hope, yeah. Gennaro? I don't know. Hope I, didn't, hope I didn't butcher that. I like this one. I like BYU, that. and I gotta say, I, it, this is either something that you've created because this is a speed flex, and um, BYU doesn't have an, uh, a, a licensed collectible for a speed flex, or it came from the team. Uh, and I can't see anything on here that's gonna jump out at me where I can tell the difference. Yeah, I right? mean that center stripe isn't perfect, but then again, a lot of the real team ones aren't. Yeah, if it's getting beat up, if it's used, I mean, that's definitely a color that the that BYU used uh, with their face masks. Uh, we work, we do some work with BYU with the 3D bumpers. Those look legit. Um, and the face mask, and that looks legit. Uh, the decals, as far as I can tell, look legit. The color of the helmet looks legit. Everything here looks legit. I can't tell the difference. We have a picture of the back. Sometimes when you see the back of the helmets, you know, nope. teams will put thing, you know, decals on the backs of the helmets that uh, not everybody has access to and are very difficult to get. So I don't see anything jumping out back there except for a warning label. It's got a 3D bumper. Got a 3D bumper. So that nothing, nothing telling me that this did not come from the locker room. Yeah, it's right? a really nice, really well done. If you did this yourself, and yeah. if you didn't, then good for you for snagging one out yeah. of the locker room. And I love the black and blue. Same Especially here. Especially the and it's matte black with, with that nice gloss blue. Yeah, yeah looks yeah. great. Actually, um, chrome blue decals and face masks. So, uh, Steve, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with a 9.0. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. another goodie. Yeah, a, a, definitely another good one. All right, next up is John V. Here's a bunch of photos, and I didn't even select all of them because he sent a bunch. All right, well, this is taking things to another another extreme. We'll say, right? It's great <laughs> positioning, right? Yeah, it's done just well enough to look like it's random, but we know it's not. Yeah, well, you know. put effort into stacking them on the rocks. They remind me of like mountain goats, the way that they yeah, kind of, yeah. you know. And not just the positioning, but also like just the differences in all of the face masks. They're yeah. all randomly different. Exactly. Which means they're not random. They're not random no. at all. And we've got three bumpers. What looks like at least four of them, I can't tell... Um, on the one all the way on the right there, but we've got different visors, got a couple of Oakleys, got some, I can't tell what they all are. It looks like we got a Shock 1.0. I like that one, you got the black one in the middle there with the chrome gold clips, that just works. That's really cool, that's my favorite one. I mean, he's got some real pieces of yeah. equipment on these Sports things. Sports Star chin straps, uh, we've got Riddell hard cups, um, we even got some black screws on, on one of these here. Yeah. And I think this is on a car cover of a Corvette, if I'm going to guess. that 
Really? Is that, is that what your guess is? Uh, let me know, man. That looks like a covered Corvette to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know much about much. Um, here, this one here, Steve. This that, this is a Ravens. Yes. The other ones are all Vikings, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this one's got the Oakley uh, visor clips. It's got a dome mean. screw in there. You don't see that too often. That's cool. You don't. Yeah. So so this is a this is subtly somebody who really knows what they're doing. Yes. And probably. He doesn't get frustrated when somebody comes over and he's checking out his helmets and they don't recognize the amount of work and effort that went into these things to really get all the little details correct. But um, he appreciates it. That's right. And luckily, <laughs> luckily for you, so do we. Yes, yes, we yeah. do. Um, Steve, I'm going to go with a 9.3 for the whole collection. I think it's fantastic. Really, really cool collection. Thank you. And don't be afraid to send in more of just individuals uh, because there's a lot to see with these. So, sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. Next up is Ryan. All right, Ryan. Field use helmet. This is, yep. This is a Speed Flex. This is, I'm assuming, his high school. This is got some extra pieces on there like that battle um, mouth guard. Oakley visor, Under Armour clips. I like that you're not devoted to one brand. Uh, so much. I can't tell what, I mean, it's a Riddell chin strap. It looks like there's a, a chin strap sock. Yeah, you're on right. There, right. I can't, I can't see what, what that is, but based yeah. on the fact that you've got Oakley Under Armour, I'm going to guess it's a Nike. I'm going to guess that too. Sure. sure. And I, I don't know what that logo is, but DM, um, interesting, right? Yeah. And Steve loves having you know, there's stuff going on in the background there, some boxes. And the outlet, the outlet drives me nuts. Yeah, the outlet's nice. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you still made the show. <laughs> but all put together nicely and it's organized. I'm going to go with a 6.9. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. And next up and last of the day already is Andrew. And he wrote in and said, I just got my Aggie helmet. I love how it came out. Thanks, guys. Cheers. So Let's look at this beast. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. So this is a upgraded face mask. This is because this is a lightweight. So this is the S two B D L W V face mask. But the colors all go great. So you got the chin strap, you got the face mask going with that. It still works great with that kind of uh what would you call that paint? It's like a satin I would agree with you. He might have even he might have even gotten this all from us because when you buy Maybe. collectibles from us, yeah. we'll we assemble it. Yeah, um, I I don't yeah. know. I mean, we 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 have all these pieces that we sell, so yeah, it's very possible. Good use of a lightweight mask too. Yeah, it looks great, Steve. I'm going to go with a eight point eight. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. All right. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. That was a fast episode, but that's all we got time for. We got to go. So if you didn't make it this time, I'm sorry. There'll be plenty more. Keep sending in your photos. Tell your friends and your families. We really appreciate all of the love and support. Email in the best pictures you can. Yes, and if you're still watching, yep, you are awesome. We really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.